Hi guys, it's time. It's time. All right, so I'm gonna be watching volume one, episode one of Ruby. I'm excited to start it. So let's go ahead and watch it. I put subtitles Legends. on. Stories scattered through time. Mankind has grown quite fond of recounting the exploits of heroes and villains, forgetting so easily that we are remnants, byproducts of a forgotten past. Man, born from dust, was strong, wise, and resourceful. But he was born into an unforgiving world. An inevitable darkness, creatures of destruction, the creatures of Grimm, set oh. their sights on man and all of his creations. These forces clashed, and it seemed the darkness was intent on returning man's brief existence to the void. However, even the smallest spark of hope is enough to ignite change. And in time, man's passion, resourcefulness, and ingenuity led them to the tools that would help even the odds. This power was appropriately named Dust. Nature's wrath in hand, man lit their way through the darkness. And in the shadow's absence came strength, civilization, and most importantly, life. Okay. But even the most brilliant lights eventually flicker and die. And when they are gone, darkness will return. Oh, hello. Look at that cigar. Jesus. So you may prepare your guardians. Build your monuments to a so-called free world. But take heed. There will be no victory in strength. From dusk till dawn. Perhaps victory is in the simpler things that you've long forgotten. Things that require a smaller, more honest soul. Hey, that's Ruby. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find a dust shop open this late? Please, just take my lien and leave. Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. We're not here for your money. Grab the dust. What the? Crystals. Fern. Uncut. Uh oh, then he spotted Ruby. And she's listening to music. He can't hey, hear you. You got headphones on, dude. Yes? I said, put your hands in the air now. Are you robbing me? Yes. Oh. Punch him. Hey. <laughs> nice. He's just looking at it. He doesn't care about his own man. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna keep holding that cigar. Get her. say it's been an eventful evening and as much as i'd love to stick around i'm afraid this is where we part ways where do you go oh there he is you okay if i go after him <laughs> here are you hell yeah <laughs> i don't mind Into the line, Red. 
He's wearing he's wearing eyeliner. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, who's that? Why does she look so familiar? Look if I had seen her in somewhere else. <laughs> Oh, that's dope. They don't show her face. They don't want us to see her. Adorable though. You put yourself and others in great danger. They started it. If it were up to me, you'd be sent home with a pat on the back and a slap on the wrist. But there's someone here who would like to meet you. Ruby Rose. Cookies. You have silver eyes. Uh, um. So, where did you learn to do this? S Signal Academy? They taught you to use one of the most dangerous weapons ever designed? Well, one teacher in particular. I see. Mm, she just... She just ate those it's cookies just to just one bite. Another scythe wielder of that skill book. Dusty old crow. Oh, that's my uncle. <clears throat> uh, sorry, that's my uncle Crow. He's a teacher at Signal. I was complete garbage before he took me under his wing, and now I'm all like. <clears throat> so I've noticed. And what is an adorable girl such as yourself doing at a school designed to train warriors? Well, I want to be a huntress. You want to slay monsters. Yeah. I only have two more years of training left at Signal, and then I'm going to apply to Beacon. Uh, see, my sister's starting there this year, and she's trying to become a huntress, and I'm trying to become a huntress because uh, I want to help people. And my parents always taught us to help others, so I thought, oh, I might, might as well make a career out of it. <laughs> I mean, the police are all right, but husband and huntresses are just so much more romantic and exciting. Cool, just, yeah, uh, you know? Do you know who I am? You're Professor Ospin. You're the headmaster at Beacon. Hello. Nice to meet you. You want to come to my school? More than anything. Mm. Well, okay. Oh, I can't believe my baby sister's going to Beacon with me. This is the best day ever! Please stop. But I'm so proud of you! Billy says it was nothing. What do you mean? It was incredible! Everyone at Beacon is gonna think you're the bee's knees. Okay, I don't wanna be the bee's knees, okay? I don't wanna be any kind of knees. I just wanna be a normal girl with normal knees. What's with you? Aren't you excited? Of course I'm excited. I just, I got moved ahead two years. I don't want people to think I'm special or anything. But you are special. The robbery was led by nefarious criminal Roman Torchwick, who continues to evade authorities. If you have any information on his whereabouts, please contact the Vale Police Department. Back to you, Lisa. Thank you, Cyril. In other news, this Saturday's Fauna Civil Rights protest turned dark when members of the White Fang disrupted the ceremony. The once peaceful organization has now disrupted... 
Hello and welcome to Beacon. Who's that? My name is Glenda Goodwitch. Oh, you are among a privileged few <laughs> who have received the honor of being selected to attend this prestigious academy. Our world is experiencing an incredible time of peace, and as future huntsmen and huntresses, it is your duty to uphold it. You have demonstrated the courage needed for such a task, and now it is our turn to provide you with the knowledge and the training to protect our world. I guess home isn't too far after all. Beacon's our home now. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, I guess the view isn't for everyone. It was a nice moment while it lasted. I wonder who we're gonna meet. Uh, I just hope they're better than Vomit Boy. <laughs> oh, dang, gross! You have puke on your shoe! Gross, 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 That was it. I wanted more. Alright, so that was the end of episode 1, volume 1. I did like it with Matt Ruby. We also met the bad guy, I believe his name was Ro Roman. He was after the dust. And Glinda, the one that got in front of Ruby to protect her. And we also saw uh, another character that we couldn't see her face. So he did manage to escape. We also met Ruby's sister. <laughs> and we also met the teacher I think he was named Ospin so many characters I was actually just sitting here waiting for more and then bam it's over it's too short hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching bye